Look what we have here, Maeve. What is that? I got the, I've been, well, I've been buying these little toys that are, I guess they're like kids' toys, you know? I mean, I probably had like a billion rubber snakes when I was a kid. But <clears throat> I've been buying them for the birds to play with because they look realistic, like real animals, and they like to play with them. So lately I've like gotten a bunch of little fake mice and fake ferrets and things like that, and Maeve's really enjoyed it or like little rubber lizards. I'll probably do a video with the lizards one day. But <clears throat> I got this snake just to see how she'd react to it. Where are you going? Are you done with it already? Look, come back here. Come get it. And I knew I knew they wouldn't be afraid of it, so I mean, I've left it out for a few days just to make sure that she's not afraid before I did a video or anything like that because I didn't want to give her a spook, but as you can see, she's not afraid of it at all. I think Tupac's a little more uncomfortable with it than Maeve is. Look at this. Why do you keep running away? Yeah, there you go. Get that snake. Get it. And this is kind of nice because it's rubbery and it's kind of like flexes a lot. Yeah, there you go. And they eat snakes in the wild, so. Get it, Maeve. You saw earlier how she was going after its neck. It's, oh. Okay, sorry about that. It fell in her little toilet litter box thing and I had to wash it off real quick so we're back at it again we got the snake and Tupac's right over here so in his usual place but anyways I was, as I was saying you'll notice that like the first thing she did was go after its head so it's amazing that they have the instincts of where to go for something like that just kind of programmed in them because she's never seen a snake before as far as I know Tupac's, it's making Tupac a little nervous, so let's move it. Let's move it over here. There you go. Yeah, did you hear that, guys? She's starting to make little clicking noises. So, they're a little bit different than a Toko Toucans. They actually, they sound like, sound even more like a dinosaur than a Toko Toucan. So, hopefully she'll do it a few more times for you guys. Maybe if I kind of like animated a little bit for her. Get it. Get that snake. You see her tassels here, as usual. Don't get distracted by the tassels. We're playing with snakes right now. Wish I could, like, kind of wish it wasn't curled up. Get it? And like I'm I'm sure many of you guys would be concerned that it would scare her or something like that, but she has the, she has the freedom to move away from it whenever she wants. So, don't be too concerned about that. They're not exactly skittish to other animals in the wild. They're pretty brave and they're kind of bullies, so. They don't have a whole lot of predators in the wild either. They have like birds of prey when they're adults and that's about it. And snakes for their eggs and such, but snakes for eggs and babies, but. Snakes in the jungles of South America are a little bigger than this thing. I've had several snakes, actually, that were native to there. I was a big snake person for a while, so... I mean, I still love snakes, but... I 
I think I just prefer focusing on birds. Maybe I'll get another snake sometime. I really love emerald tree boas, and they would probably make a pretty cool addition to the family, but birds are the focus for now. Where are you going? Ooh, kind of clicked a little bit. Her little clicks are not quite loud yet. Like, if I move it to the other side of it, because she wants to follow it, see? Oh, there you go. There, I kind of got it spread out a little bit, like more of how a snake would be. Trying to get another angle on it. Here. I think she kind of likes to chase it a little bit. She'll make that noise if she's chasing it down. Come get it. Come get it, Maeve. Look, it's right over here. What do you think about that? It's kind of fun, huh? Oh. Back to being distracted by the camera. I kind of wonder if I could, like, wrap it around the branch over here. Ooh. She's snapping at it now. Come over here and get it. Look. I think she would grab onto it, and I could probably pull her up by it, almost. <laughs> Get that snake. Let me wrap it around her perch over here and just see what she does. Oh. You're not a fan of it being up here, are you? It's so weird to hear her making adult noises now. It's crazy. Look, I want to. I want to try something. Why don't we? I want to take her in the other room for a second, so she can't see where I'm putting it, and then I'm gonna put it up in her branches, and we'll see how she reacts to it. So give me one second. All right, Maeve, come on. There you go. All right, let's go look for the snake. Where is it? Have you lost interest? Oh, you're flying over to me now. Look, the snake's back. Go get it. exactly where to go for it. She was snapping at it pretty good a second, like, earlier. Before I put her up back there. I'm gonna try to get you snapping at it again so they can see. If I 
put it back over on the couch. Here it is. What is it doing over here? Are you losing interest now? <laughs> what are you looking at? She really likes this. This is probably some of the longest she's ever spent on one toy, so... Get the snake. She's a fan of it being up in the branches. I'm pretty sure I said that earlier, but... <laughs> Not that she's a fan, it just clearly... Uh, gets her going in a way that it being on the couch doesn't the same way. how Tupac would react to it, but I'm a little afraid that it's going to startle him or scare him. I don't want him to get scared. Are you done with the snake? You done with it? What do you think? Is it good and dead now? actually kind of tearing into that rubber pretty good, more than you would think. Their main means of like defense is that thrashing that you're seeing. Just biting down is not very, uh, they don't have a lot of strength as far as that can, that's concerned, like just biting down, but if they thrash or they peck or they jab, like they can, that's where they do the real damage. Get it. to like do this and film at the same time. Come get it, Maeve. Are we done? Let's go see what Tupac thinks. If he gets scared, we're not gonna force him to do anything he doesn't want to do, but... Are you associating that word with him now? Is that why you came over here? What do you think, Tupac? But Tupac's not quite as brave, I don't think. He's a little more defensive because of the way his health is, so he looks... Is this making you nervous, buddy? Yeah, he doesn't really like it. That's alright. We'll get you something else to play with. Alright, Maeve. Are you done with the snake? We'll put it back over here for one last hoorah. Come get it. Okay, well, you're. This is me. 
but that's good enough. <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. She definitely uh, wants to kill the snake, and it is a successful toy, thankfully. So I'll have to get more stuff like that. Maybe we'll get different snakes and different colors, different sizes, and do a follow-up video or something like that. But uh, anyways, thanks again, guys. Check us out on Instagram. Check out the merch. Hello, Maeve. Links for all that good stuff is in the description. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. <laughs> what are you doing? See, when I say bye, I can never end the video because you keep doing crazy stuff. Go back over there. What are you doing? Say bye bye, Maeve. Bye, everyone. I'm done being entertaining. <laughs> Alright, see you guys next time. Yep, there we go. Back again.